Tulsa's port system, even after landing what will be one of the state's largest new employers, is positioned for growth. Leaders at the port met today to talk about all of the possibilities. News on 6's Emery Bryan has the story. This waterway connects the nation's most inland port with the world's oceans. And the companies here connect 2,600 people with better than average jobs because of the decision to build a Tulsa port long ago. Well, I think we all know that we're here now today experiencing the economic boom of Northeast Oklahoma because of this channel that we're seeing right now. The leaders of the port mark some of the accomplishments tied to it today while talking about what's coming. We're, we're bringing a lot of other prospects and showing them these ports, especially now uh, the port of Inola, uh, port of Muskogee. So there are a lot of major companies uh, looking at our three ports uh, as we speak today. The primary industries at the port today are agricultural products and steel manufacturing. With rail access, large and heavy products can be shipped out and raw materials shipped in by land or water. The combination of low-cost shipping and plentiful land gives the Tulsa port system a big advantage in recruiting new industries. And even though it's 50 years old, the boosters of the port feel like it's never had more potential than right now. Ports director David Yarbrough says the Tulsa system can accommodate the largest manufacturing sites being built. Uh, this is not five and ten acre sites like we have here at the Port of Catoosa. This is companies looking for four and five hundred acres, a thousand acres. They're looking at Oklahoma, they're looking at the Port of Inola, and that's what really excites us about our opportunities. With the possibilities of other large employers coming, the port staff is focused on developing the workforce to ensure employers will have the people they need. In Tulsa, Emory Bryan, Oklahoma's own News on Six.